Are you looking for a casual dressmaking project to do this summer? Hello, my name is Sunju and welcome back to Upcycle Clothing Designer. In this channel, I transform old clothes into brand new clothes. So subscribe to my channel for more trendy upcycle clothing projects. Today, we're going to learn how to make kimono dress without pattern. In this tutorial, we will cover sewing tips for making kimono silhouette with oversized sleeve, high-low waistband, and button front closure. I'm super excited to share this easy sewing tutorial, so let's get started! For this button front kimono dress tutorial, I used a medium weight crepe surface linen fabric. The crepe texture is pebbly but smooth when worn and it is also thick enough that the white dress does not need a lining. To make the front piece of the kimono dress, fold a piece of fabric in half and square off the top edge. Mark the center chest opening at 4 inches and mark the armhole opening at 10 inches. To measure the sleeve length, drop the shoulder 1 inch down and measure 14 inches away from the center. To measure the center chest opening, Measure 10 inch down the side, draw a diagonal line to the top edge of the center chest opening. To measure the kimono sleeve opening, measure an 8 inch width. To measure the waistline of the dress, measure 15 inches down from the top edge. Then measure 10 inch away from the side edge. To measure the underarm, measure 3 inches up and draw a smooth curved line to the top of the sleeve opening. To measure the high-low underbust waistband, draw a line from the bottom of the center chest opening to the underarm. Pin the fabric to make even cut lines at half an inch seam allowance on all sides. and then cut to make both front pieces of the kimono dress. To make the back piece of the kimono dress, fold a piece of fabric in half, use the front piece as a guide. To measure the back neckline, drop a neck opening 1 inch and draw a smooth curved line. To measure the back waistband, draw a straight line across. Pin the fabric and cut to make the back piece of the kimono dress. To 
to make facing for the back piece, fold a piece of fabric in half and copy the top two and a half inch of the back piece neckline. Pin the fabric and cut to make the facing for the back piece of the dress. To make facing for the center chest pieces, fold a piece of fabric in half and copy the inside 3 inch of the center chest piece opening. Pin the fabric and cut to make the facing for the center chest piece of the dress. To make the high-low waistband, draw a straight line on one side and a perpendicular line across the bottom. The high side is 4 inches and the low side is 2.5 inches. Draw a straight line to connect the high and low waistband. Add half an inch seam allowance on all sides and cut to make the high-low waistband piece. Copy to make four pieces in total. To make the back waistband, fold a piece of fabric in half, draw a straight line across the top edge. Mark two and a half inch down the folded edge, and then draw a line parallel to the top edge. Mark eight inch away from the folded edge. Draw a straight line to connect the points, add half an inch seam allowance on all sides. And then, cut to make the back waistband. Copy to make two pieces in total. To make the front button facing, measure two, 2 inches by 23 inches pieces of fabric. To add shirring to the center front pieces, use a wide stitch width, sew 4 inches along the bottom edge. Pull on the back thread to create bunching with the fabric on both front pieces. To add shirring at the center back piece, use a wide stitch width and sew 8 inches along the bottom edge. Pull on the back thread to create bunching with the fabric on the center back piece. To add the front pieces to the high-low waistband, stitch along the edge with the right sides facing each other. Then, add the facing pieces to the high-low waistband for extra support. To attach the back piece to the waistband, stitch along the edge with the right sides facing each other. Then, add the facing pieces to the waistband for extra support. To attach the front pieces to the back piece, stitch along the shoulder seam and side seam with the right sides facing together. 
to hem the kimono sleeve opening quarter inch fold and stitch around the edge. To make the back bottom of the kimono dress, fold a piece of fabric in half and measure 13 inches by 18 inches. To close the side seam of the dress bottom, use overlock stitch. To hem the dress opening, quarter inch fold and stitch around the hemline. To add shirring to the waistline of the dress piece, use a white stitch width and sew along the top edge. Pull on the back thread to create bunching with the fabric around the waistline of the dress piece. To hem the neckband facing, quarter inch fold and stitch around the edge.